everybody, welcome to your history lesson. My name's Griff. Hello, these, Griff. These two I'm going to introduce you to very shortly. Now, I love your dress. Thank you very, very much. Now, obviously, I'm not wearing the usual teacher's uh, uniform. uniform. Yes, I'm wearing armour. So we're going to take you back to the time of about the year 1520 or so. Jesus, I feel old. That's, yeah, I'm not looking too bad for it. Um, that's the time of Henry VIII. Uh, who knows anything about Henry yeah. VIII? Eight wives. Eight wives. Eight wives. Eight wives. Eight wives. Didn't we have six? Yeah, well, yeah, eight six wives. Six wives. Six. Divorce, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. Yeah. Sorry, what was you saying? I said, I learned it in school. It's a divorce, beheaded, died, divorced. No, yeah, well done. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. That's what Why I am I even here? They know it all already. That's right. Excellent. I, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the idea of Henry, as all the pictures we, we see of him, being a big fat bloke, killing his wives and marrying them and divorcing them and, and all that sort of stuff. When Henry first came to the throne, he was very young. He was uh, in his uh, late teens. He was very wealthy. He's fit. He's handsome. Um, he's, he's almost like me, in fact. But the thing is, when you're young and rich, you don't want to be bothered with all the details of running the country and signing things and yeah. passing laws. You let other guys do that. So he had people like uh, uh, Cardinal Wolsey and Thomas Cromwell and Thomas More, all these guys that did all the work for him, and he just had fun. So uh, anybody name me a couple of things that Henry might have done for fun? Justin. 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 How did you guess that one? <laughs> yeah, Justin, anything else? Having sex. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did a, probably did a lot hunting. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hunting, yeah, very good. He was very, very keen hunting. Henry was a very good horseman. Every, every man at the time who had a bit of money would needed to have ridden very, very well. And he was known for wearing out horses. I mean, I've, I've, we've had goes at wearing out horses. It's difficult. You wear yourself out. But Henry rode and rode and rode. Every man here, every guy here, you would need to do all the things like he did. You'd need to be a good sportsman. You'd need to be, uh, be able to write music, poetry. You'd need to sing and dance, play an instrument. All these things are the things you need to be if you're going to be a prince of the Renaissance, if you're going to be a man who's um, uh, leading the way and showing off. Which brings me to this armour. Now, uh, Henry had a few rivals in Europe, uh, and one of the, uh, another prince, an emperor in fact, made him a present of a, a harness of armour, uh, and um, it's based, based on this. Yeah, we'll get you to wear some in a little while. Um, so what you've got to imagine is the, the nearest thing that we've got nowadays to a man who jousts is either uh, Lewis Hamilton or maybe one of the RAF fighter pilots. Because what you basically, the idea is you've got somebody who's very highly trained to do a very, very small, specific job. So my job as a, a man in armour on a horse is simply to get my horse running as fast as it can in a straight line so I can hit my opponent. And uh, I'm afraid we haven't got room for horses here today. And score points. And then as soon as I'm finished with my run, uh, or the competition, I get off my horse and the pit crew deal with everything else. The pit crew sort my armour out, the pit crew sort the horse out. It's the same if you're a fighter pilot. You don't clean the plane, you don't repair it, you don't um, arm it up. That's what the pit crew is for. This is my little bonnet, little padded cap. It's a bit like a motorcycle helmet, soft on the inside and... Um, it doesn't hurt your head. No, it doesn't hurt my head at all. Yeah, nice and tight. So these guys need to know what, how I like my armour, but not only it's how I like my armour, they're also known not only as squires but as body servants, which means they know exactly how I like everything. How I like my food yeah, in the morning, yeah, how I like... They get paid though. They get paid handsomely, don't you? Yes, sire. <clears throat> but you know, like when you see those pictures of maybe Lewis Hamilton or something, when he's in his car yeah. and, and everybody's rushing around, him. that car ain't going to work unless the guys start rushing around. And they know how it works, yeah? Well, we're talking about expensive. Can you imagine, like, um... Can I give you a punch in the face and see if you feel it? Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Can you imagine, like, what's the most expensive car you can think of? Bugatti. Bugatti yeah, the Veyron. Yeah, yeah. Bugatti Veyron's more than any Ferrari, man. Well, this is a Bugatti Veyron. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a waste that's of, kind of money. That's the kind of price that we're talking about here. That's the kind of, uh, yeah, this is the kind of uh, technology that you're talking about here. Is this only for Justin or is this all fighting? This, this is all fighting. He can't see me at the side. I thought he was coming and jumping in the I need a glove on work. I could bang him one. Get around here. Let's get around here so we can see. Now, this kind of thing, this is what we call field harness. So this kind of thing 
is what you'd wear on a battlefield. But what you we're trying to do right? is trying to make it into something yeah. Yeah, that's more specific for the gel. <laughs> Why is it on that arm? <laughs> Why is it on that arm? Well, because that's the side, that's the side they joust from. If you joust, really, you your man's good. Because uh, in yeah. a joust, a joust sense, is a sport. I mean, if you think of like I'm Formula One, something like that. I something it's really, really fast, really, GCCs. really, really expensive. That's but it's, it's got a lot of rules, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of rules to it. That so it's the same thing. So with this, the target is that shield there. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. So that right there is the target. Sorry, mate. If we can hit that in the joust, that's going to get you the maximum number of points. But you're going to be on a horse that might be doing 30 mile an hour. Maybe. It's moving up and down. Yeah, yeah, and it's going side to side. So if you're going to be in the joust, what's the most important thing? Yeah, controlling the horse. Controlling the horse, yeah, yeah. So you've so got, got to think. The horse might get pissed off and not even away. What if they hit the horse? Exactly. And then yeah, all of these things are a problem. Yeah. If the armour doesn't work properly, that means he can't ride his horse properly. If he can't ride his horse properly, he can't do anything. He ain't going to win. Really he can't correct, do anything at all. He's going to go in the wrong direction. It's all going to be very embarrassing. If you imagine, guys, when I'm when I'm strapped into the armour, I'm like I'm in a big roll cage. How do you see that? So if I come off the horse, I'm protected from the fall as well, as well as everything that's coming towards me. I mean, on that, that's on my shoulder. You can whack me. Yeah, that's on my shoulder. Yeah, can you see? You, somebody was here was at your rescue, weren't you? How can you see? For this bit here. Yeah, yeah, you see through that. Yeah. But if you look, you can only see straight out. You can't see down. Yeah? You can't see anything from probably the horse's head down. Unless you move from your waist all the way down. That's no good. Now why do you want why do you want a small gap like that? Because it because up it, it's like no no it's, it's Horses, yeah. When, like, so when you put their fingers on the horses, they can only see straight. They go straight. What's well, partly? Yeah. Sort of partly, yeah. But what about protection? Oh yeah. Well, they can't get. Yeah. 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 What's what be the most dangerous place to get straight hit? Straight in the eye. Imagine that. You come like there's half a jazz through your head. So you see the shape of that. In order to get in that slot, something's got to come from above. And that's not going to happen. Right, guys. I've got a helmet you can try on. No. This is from the film Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. Are you doing it? It's a stunt helmet, but it will give you an idea of what the vision is like. Everything I wear is the best quality, so I'm wearing real silk, I'm wearing real gold. It's, this is Gucci armour, absolutely. Yeah, this is, the, this is the best stuff your money can buy. What we're going to do now is try and test you out to see if you can actually learn how to hold the lance, and then we'll get you onto the cart. So we're going to move over to the other side. Now, watch what I do. I have my, my lance in my hand like this, and when we're jousting, we stand with our lances up waiting for our opponent. When I see my opponent is ready, either one of us will put our arm up like that to signal that we're ready. And we will then know. start down what we call the tilt rail, which is an enormous fence. Before that was invented, horses used to run at each other. So there are instances where knights and horses had head-on collisions and were killed. OK, quick then. Signal up, down you gum. That's it. And down, that's it. Very good. That's the way. Good. Excellent. So you can feel how much pressure there's going to be push, when push, you hit push. me. You've got to try and bend it and break it and snap it. I can't do that. Either. Yeah. Is this what well. women can do it? No. Well, it's more that they weren't allowed rather than couldn't. So they hand it out. Yeah. Right, next! Ah! Very well done. Oh. Raise it up, give me a signal, down it comes. And do this balance it underneath your arm. Under your, arm. under your arm, that's the way. Don't let it come below that. This is your horse here. If you hit your horse in the head, that's you for the day. Yeah, so, and on it comes. You push as hard as you like. I'm not going to force you to do anything. That's it. Very well done. Excellent. Good. Back up. First, that's it. Next! Who's next? Okay, take the weight. Now, are you ready? Are you single number ready? Hold the back down and reach underneath your armpits. That's it. Do I have to hold it here? Do you want to stand on my armpit? You can't know. You Knock down to your horse's face. head. That's going to be there. That's it. Like here, just like this. There we are. Just give it a little bit of a push. Go on. That's the way. That's it. Because I'll be doing exactly the same thing to you. Look at that. Go on, girl. That's the spirit. That's it. Back up. Back to your Where are you from? I'm from? Yeah. Um, London, South London. South London, yeah, no. Remind me not to joust in South London. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's got it. Squires, go and get Champion the Wonder Horse. Yeah. I have to wear armour and personal protective equipment, so you have to wear armour and personal protective equipment. 
Now, we're not going to run at each other, obviously. If you can look at these posts we have here, there are rings on them. And then at the far end, there is something we call a quintain, which is a target that spins round when you hit it. When you hit it, the other arm comes back round, so make sure you're not so close that when it comes round, it clouts you one round the back of the head. We get onto the cart by stepping up onto it, swinging over. So the horse, yes, you're quite right, quite right. But you're aiming for that ring there. In the middle? Right through the ring. Yeah, you're trying to carry that ring on the end of the lance. What, all the way with me? And then, yep, and then to the second one. And then hit that, that quintain and it'll spin around. Well, like, I've got to get it in there and then yeah. pull it along with me. The ring will come off the, uh, oh, oh, off the hook. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're not carrying the post with you. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Spar me, what are you thinking? Right, let me start, you ready? Uh, but you're, you're the expert on the line. Push! Look at the speed. Excellent! Excellent! Very good! Thumbs up! That's it, Squire comes in! Next person with the safety gear on, you're up. If you'd like to get on, the best thing to do is put your left foot on there. That's it, and swing over. That's it, very well Ooh. done. Hello. Yeah. So that, your left hand for that, that's your reins, basically. That's you. On a horse, that would be your brake. So as soon as you hit anything, you start pulling back on the, on the horse. Right then, Sir Knight, if you are ready, as soon as you start moving, get that lance in underneath your armpit and see if you can hit the first target. You're looking pretty quick. So, three, two, one, go. Oh, he's going fast, that's not fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't, you ain't got it. Now, what I'm expecting from you, that's it. I want you to hold it properly. Because yeah. you've got the muscle. All right? Yeah? yeah. So, step in the air for now. Step in the air. Don't Save give your muscle. Do it. And when you start moving, bring it down. Yeah? Go on, Henry. If you lose, you're running. How's your muscles? Huh? How are your muscles? Uh, All right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the way. What you can do, put it just there for now. You support the weight while you're waiting. And then when you get ready to go, as soon as you set off, bring it up under your arm, yeah? Couch the lance. Sort it out. I'm ready. Right, and go. Off you go. Not bad going, not bad. Yeah. You've got to dislodge, you've got to carry and hit the quintain. So it's like two, four, five points. That's so you beat the last two people. And off you go. Excellent. Very well done. Give it a bounce. Now, because you're a little bit lighter than the others, I want you to hold it here and use that bit underneath your arm, right? That's cheating. It's not cheating. Oh, no. It's not you. Oh, you better put a helmet on. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got there? Yeah. So while you're waiting, just put it up in the air. No, everyone else started off that. All right, I'll start. Yeah, yeah, just save your muscles. So put it up in the air. It's a bit easier that way. It's like holding a chair out at arm's length. Oh, yeah. You all right? Apart from the teeth off. Ready? Ready? Off you go! No screaming! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, lance up in the air. Go on, yes, the spirit. Very you know what it was, isn't it? Excellent, Daniel. You do know that score points, don't you? That's maximum score, you know that, don't you? Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'd be such a good Roman, wouldn't I? <laughs> you would. Thank you very much. You've been an excellent class. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, very well done. Thanks. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you.